Hey everybody, King Nick here. Uh, we're going to do some uh, challenge runs on the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, we have a lot of challenges here. They're all various pains in the backside. Um, so the purist, the host, walk walk it, computer savvy. Uh, slow roll, it's in the cards, beans, when life gives you lemons, curse, demo man, cat got your tongue, solar system, the tank. Head trauma, highbrow, and pitch black, and we have several locked ones. Um, because I've had some bad runs in a row lately, I'm gonna do computer savvy. It's not an automatic win, but I, I need an easier one. So let's do this. With computer savvy, we start with uh, spoon bender, uh, tech one, and tech two, and we are Isaac. So we have Isaac stats. So you'll notice right off the bat that. Tech 1 and Tech 2 uh, react to Spoonbender in very simple, awesome ways. Um, it's worth noting that Brimstone does the same thing. Uh, most item runs, this one for certain, I uh, don't have any item rooms to make up for the stuff you start with. And, um, but they still have shops and deals with the devil. So if you find yourself on a really tough uh, challenge run, you can you now you can kind of break it by getting a deal with the devil. So um, I'm trying to think of one in particular. Um, there's one where you get Ipecac and my reflection. So you fire Ipecac shots that always come back to you. Uh, you can break that one by getting a deal with the devil to get like technology or something. Um, it's worth noting that when you're playing a uh, challenge run, it counts as a seated run, so you're unable to unlock uh, secrets or achievements or um, anything like that. We're going. I'm going to use the justice card here right now. Get stuff for me, and we get a speed upgrade. Bosses still drop things, but as you can see, there's no item room. Basement Part 2. Um, challenge runs also vary in uh, your goal. Some of them you only have to beat Mom, some you have to beat Mom's Heart. And I think there is one that you have to beat uh, later bosses than Mom's Heart. So that might be one we have to unlock later. But By the way, narrow corridors make this challenge run a little tough. So I don't know if you've watched any of my recent videos, but I am not doing terribly well in them. Just a series of uh, bad plays, choices, bad, um, bad luck on the RNG. Both the game and I will share fault on this. Um, one of the things we're going to need to make this run more bearable is a little bit more damage. Maybe some more health. More health will never be told no. Well, I'm, that's not a true statement. More told, uh, more health will sometimes be told no. All right, we also apparently have Curse of the Maze, which I didn't notice until just now. But because we only have three coins and there are no such thing as item rooms, we're gonna go on and fight Dingle here. Um, as is uh, expected for telepathy with tech, um, there's not. We're free to dodge, and as we stay in a line, like a loose line, uh, we'll hit Dingle despite wherever he goes or where we dodged or go to move from him. All right, we get a Tears upgrade, and then a Deal with the Devil, so we get Flying or Judas's Shadow, and a Health upgrade. So I'm going to double down. We're going to get Judas Shadow and the Flying. We'll take a Bombs or Key pill. Um, let's just head on down to the next floor. There's no reason to prolong it. It's just a challenge run. As you can see here, it looks like we just had to go to fight Mom. You can usually tell by the uh, progress bar. Um, challenge runs are on normal mode. Um, 
So if you're used to playing on hard mode, um, beyond the 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 challenge itself, these shouldn't be that hard. Uh, they'll they'll give you trouble. Don't think I'm playing them down. Some of them are tougher than others, but some of them are, you know, pretty easy. But for every easy one, you have one that's gonna make you pull your hair out. I used to have a full head of hair, and then I did Suicide King. Now I still have most of a full head of hair with patches missing. Um, the good news is though, those were all gray hairs that I pulled out of my head in a fit of anger. So now it looks like I just have brown hair again. All right, so we're fighting Chubb, who again with this build is is a pushover. We're gonna kill his little summon things really easy. We're gonna kill him because we're doing damage to each of his sections individually. We even get a deal to devil and a range upgrade which is kind of a middle finger. Uh, we're gonna fight Krampus here though. Hopefully we get a uh, lump of eh, whatever we get from Krampus will be okay because we don't have an, an active item even. So lump of coal would be awesome. Krampus' head is something I won't turn away this time, though. But we still got them. Cool. Alright, let's head on down. Can you think of a reason not to? Let's just go. So by the time this video goes up, um, my, uh, my binary video will have had a few days to be up. And um, it'll be doing its circulations. If you uh, Let me know specifically if you want to see more of that. Um, I'm not certain, it's just me trying something out. I, uh, I'm studying and preparing to take a uh, CCNA test. So that's what's on my mind right now. So I just did a quick video to help people uh, pick up the basics of binary. I mean, if it helped you, let me know. I really do want to know sincerely if I help somebody. Same, the same is true if I entertain you. If I even make you chuckle or giggle into your hand, uh, let me know. I I like hearing things like that. All right, we got Mega Fatty here. Mega Fatty, uh, he's just gonna take some time. He's not tough. He's just tanky. You know, in total honesty, if I entertained you or not, if I took away some of your of your boredom, you know, for a half hour at a time or 15 minutes, uh, I appreciate even hearing that. I just want to know that I had a positive effect on somebody's life. I think that's what I'm getting to. All right, we got a health upgrade, which I'm not going to take right now. Uh, all right, it doesn't matter if I take it or not. What's in here? All right, nothing. We're just gonna grab this health upgrade, and we're gonna mosey to quote Cloud. Nope, we're gonna go look at the item or, or the, the shop. We're gonna go look for a shop uh, because again, because it's a, because it's a seated run technically, um, there's not going to be a donation machine in the shop. So every coin we have is free to spend. There's no reason to save it. Um, unless the, the item in the shop is terrible and then that's your reason not to spend it. So. If you're aware or not, until a couple of years ago, uh, before I moved in with my wife here, uh, I lived in Chicago, um, like in the South Loop of Chicago. If you're familiar with the neighborhoods or not, it was actually in Pilsen. And um, so last night, when we failed to go into the cemetery, all right, pick up the deck of cards, when we weren't unable to get into the cemetery, um, we instead drove around my old neighborhood and uh, it's not 
change a whole lot. It's only been a couple of years since I've been there. But the pizza restaurant I used to work at, um, they changed that a ton. It is now a uh, terrible place to go unless you're a drunk college kid who, um, not trying to be mean, but appreciates loud, terrible music. And as I'm not one of those, I didn't, appre I didn't appreciate the restaurant it's turned into. So, as all for quitting is what I'm going to say. Again, I was at the Ren Fair, so Huzzah is in my head. Huzzah! By the way, at the Ren Fair, I tipped the, the merchants like three different times. And when you tip them, they say, they, they shout Huzzah and they ring a bell. Three times I tipped, and all three times they were looking away. I am feeling a, fil uh, feeling a full on George Costanza here and just. I tipped. I put the money in the jar. You have to believe me. I always tip. I'm. I pride myself on being a good tipper, and so to have them miss it entirely is just beyond uh, frustrating. <laughs> it's not that I want the recognition. I think it's just I don't, I don't want them to think I didn't. <laughs> All right, we're gonna fight war here. So, Facebook would have you believe Halloween is approaching. Is everybody ready for it? It's almost the middle of August, so I can't imagine why we wouldn't talk about Halloween. Halloween, talking about Halloween now is really just a precursor so we can talk about um, Christmas and Thanksgiving within a week from now. Apparently there's a tinder rock there in our that we found in our ruse to lure war. Alright, we didn't get a deal with the devil, but here you go. And it's Guppy's tail. Oh shoot. Okay. Ah oh, crap, I messed up. I messed up. So we're going to go on down, we'll fight, the next floor we'll fight Mom, and uh, we'll probably end the run here. I'm going to use the Joker now, pick both of these items up if it'll let me. Yes, it let me and we didn't get killed for it. I'm calling it a win. Over the course of the series of this, uh, series, haha. <laughs> over the course of this uh, series of videos I have learned that you really uh, success is what you define it to be you have to figure out what your success is and you know I'm just gonna call it a win that I didn't die here in this room I didn't do what I wanted to properly but you know I can call it a win because you can't stop me because by the time you comment on this um, I'll have already posted it. So, how you got the last word in history? Haha! <laughs> um, don't post uh, reaction videos, please. Please. I'll be nice. So, again, back to the Ren Fair. Uh, when we go to the Ren Fair, sometimes uh, we get um, uh, sassafras, which is kind of like root beer if you've never had it. Um, it's a heavier, like, licorice flavor than normal root beer, though. And we got two of hearts, which will be useful. It's a, it's a heavier licorice flavor root beer than, uh, what most people like. And I like it if they keep the licorice down, but there's one of the shops there that it's pretty much black licorice. If you don't like black licorice jelly beans, you're not going to like it from the shop. And I'm not going to say the shop's name or uh, anything like that because I don't want to give them bad credit. It's a good shop. It's just their sassafras is strong. And if you don't like black licorice, it is way too much. Alright, it looks like we're going to beat Mom. I, can, I, I might be tooting my own horn a little too early, but 
We might beat mom. Alright, we're gonna get a range upgrade, a deal with the devil, which we've already picked up. And let's see what we can get here. Get. Hmm. I'm gonna pick this up because I haven't yet. And we're gonna use the full to get out of there because I don't want to fight boss rush on a floor like this. Uh, we get the uh, fortune teller, the crystal ball. Uh, every six rooms we can use it, it'll show us all the rooms on the floor, hidden room included. And it'll either give us a tarot card or a uh, spirit heart. But you know what? We beat the run. We succeeded on the uh, challenge. It wasn't a tough one, I'll grant you. But like I said, I've lost quite a few videos lately, and I would like to uh, redeem myself, even if it's with an easy run. Give me all the money. Let's go look and see what's in the shop. We have two lives. If we lose this one, we'll just head straight to uh, the the um, the chest or the victory. Well, let's go see what we would have got if I went there first. Got a key beggar. Do do do. Just stretching out a challenge run. There's gonna be nothing to happen here. What's in the stars? Find what you desire. I desire the store, the shop. Alright, I got some poo. Being sucked into a singularity. A singularity poo. Drops a bomb. Let's see what's in the shop. Ooh, PhD. I'm picking it up. And it's a speed upgrade. Awesome. Just in time. This will help me get to the treasure faster. Here I come, treasure. Here I come. Here I come. Are you ready? I'm coming, treasure. Alright, just one room. Thank you for watching everybody. We knocked out our first challenge. We unlocked Robo Baby 2.0, which I kind of wish I didn't now in retrospect. Um, if you liked the video, which I don't see why you wouldn't, except for me wasting time at the end, uh, click like. If you um, uh, would like to see more challenge runs or more of me failing on a daily basis, uh, click subscribe. That means you get to watch me all the time. I put up videos every day. Uh, I put up one Isaac every morning. Uh, every other evening, I put up a Guild of Dungeoneering episode. And right now, Freedom Fall goes up uh, whenever I feel like putting one. Um, but something will follow that too eventually. But thank you for watching. I appreciate your time and have a good day.